And welcome back guys to Let's Play 60 Seconds. We last left off, we're on day 10, and Dolores has just gone out to try and find us some goodies. At the moment Ted's tired, Mary Jane's hungry, and Timmy is hungry. So, what's new today? Mary Jane's diet could use some food. I just fed you! You fat little tit. Oh, Timmy's hungry, Dolores is on her way, good stuff. And Ted's recovered. Yay! He's the one that's got to survive, Ted. He doesn't have to. Technically speaking, it has to be an adult uh, for you to keep playing the game. So, but Ted's the main man. So who we got? We got Timmy and Mary Jane that are hungry. We've got plenty of food. All right. Since it was Timmy's birthday the other day, that's why you're getting more. Mary Jane didn't answer a single word today. This is very odd. Maybe someone should find out what's going on. Maybe she's bloody hungry, the fat git. Can someone get her some sort of like slim fast or something. I mean, look, she's not helping herself. Come on. You know, when you got her and you got Timmy's all skin and bone over here. God, give that kid a can of soup. Give him two. Nothing solves problems better than an honest conversation over a hot beverage. We don't have the last. Oh, the latter. The latte. <laughs> I thought that said latte. But talking alone seems to do the trick. Mary Jane's thirsty. Uh, Timmy's thirsty. Ted's hungry. Uh, you guys can go another day. Uh, we're not exactly clean. We smell bad, real bad. It didn't bother us until we noticed. And now we are about to get sick, so why not take a shower? We don't have socks. There are other alternatives to consider. Gunpowder. Don't really want to use the bullets. But I haven't got a first aid kit to use, so I don't want them to get sick. Uh, you know what? Use some bullets. Hopefully, it doesn't use them all. Oh, it did as well. Dirty or not, it's the smell that's the biggest issue here. Got some spare ammo, so why not use the gunpowder to kill the smell? Let's rub it in. Sounds like a brilliant idea. Okay. I suppose I, do. I like the smell of gunpowder, like when you shoot a cap gun, if it's that kind of smell. You know? Yeah. Spare some water, Mary Jane. Timmy prefers apple juice. Well, Timmy ain't gonna get no apple juice, is he? Drink. 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 Water. Dolores, please find some water. As long as we've got food and water, we can stay locked in. We'll have to leave eventually. It'd be good to head straight to safety instead of getting ourselves into more trouble, if that's even possible. Our hope is that our brave soldiers will come to rescue us and take us to some well-hidden, well-stocked government shelter. Timmy had comics about those. You know they must exist. All we need to do is make contact with the military. With a radio I haven't got. I should have picked up the radio. Who needs a map? Let's like, let's like click somewhere. Let's click over like there. See if that influences anything. Uh, to catch my emergency crews and bike transfer in that area. It's either that or it's strolling around outside waiting to get picked up. I'll just stroll around outside personally. The military might have some sort of radiation sickness cure. So. Mary Jane's good, Timmy's good, Ted's hungry. Yeah, right, Ted, you can have some soup. Play a game, they said, it'll be fun, they said. They never mentioned picking one, be so much trouble. A little Superman dude. That's quite sweet. Where's Dolores? She's been quite a while out there. I thought playing the silent game would be a good idea. The silence was too annoying and we quickly stopped. Mary Jane is feeling safe. Who wouldn't in this coffin sized shelter? You say it's coffin sized, but you know, in other places in other times you said it's massive. Or whatever. Timmy should eat. Uh, this morning has been calm enough for Ted. Timmy, you're not gonna eat yet, mate. You can hold out for another day. 
As we were considering alternatives to the canned soup diet, a sudden knock at the door broke our line of thought. It turned out that we were visited by a band of survivors who were in a pretty bad shape. All they wanted was to get something to drink, a bite to eat, or at least some clean bandages and medicine to attend their wounds. Well, you ain't have no water, but you can have some soup. That'll be nice. Hopefully they'll give us something back. Hey, welcome back, Dolores. How you doing? Wow, she got some playing... A radio. Radio. Oh, love you. Love you. Love you. Oh, I love you. Oh, I love you. Oh, I love you. Oh, oh, oh. No, I'm joking. So, yeah. Some playing cards. What did you bring back then, Dolores? Our visitors were in tears when we gave them what they asked for. We survived the nuclear apocalypse only to be nearly strangled by thankful refugees. Hugs can kill you, you know. Luckily for us, they decided to continue their journey to get somewhere safe before the sunset. As they were about to leave, one of them presented us with a portable radio. They would not take no for an answer and soon left waving goodbye until it disappeared amongst the rubble. Oh, thank you. That was worth the soup loss. We were glad to see Dolores come back safely from the wasteland. We believe that expedition to the wasteland must be followed by strangers. We should be more cautious next time. Yeah, it's not like I've got any ammo anymore, seeing as you guys wanted to use it as like shower gel. God's sake. We tried our luck at a nearby bar, fittingly called The World's End. Great film. Usually such a respectable family like our own would never go there, but this time we gave it a, sh a shot hopping. A shot hoping... Uh, I sh gave it a shot hoping to find some unclaimed goods. Punctuation there. Terrible. Who would have known that tomato soap used to be such a popular snack in a bar? We found a few cans of it and took it. Sweet, that replaced the one we just gave away. We didn't expect to find any clean water in the bar, and we weren't wrong. Whatever we found wasn't pure and it wasn't water, but hey, it quenches the thirst and it counts. Plus two, that's what we needed. From what we could tell, the atomic blast interrupted a poker game. Those poor bastards are not likely to be finishing that game anytime soon, but we can still use their cards to entertain ourselves. We found a set of checkers on one of the tables. Crazy, crazy people playing checkers while drinking beer. Well, you know, depends what town you're in. Mary Jane's diet, she's, oh, she's hungry and thirsty. He's hungry and thirsty. Well, seeing as we had such a successful day yesterday. I mean, I didn't even see the checkers there. We've hit the mother load here, we could just live down here forever. Yeah, everyone can have a good day. Why not? Let's splash out. Everyone can get a full meal. So, Ted's knackered, Dolores is knackered, so it's only Mary Jane and Timmy. The dreadful silence is becoming boring, and like every happy model family, we don't have that many things to talk about. Is there anything we can do about that? Anything at all? We can now. Let's find ourselves some military and get ourselves out of here. Ted, mate, use the, use the axe and have a shave. Now, who's this yellow dude here? Oh, it's an axe, apparently. No, I'm only joking, that's the axe. Uh, Mary Jane's like, zoned out. She's like, staring at the soup like... Mm. Food! I want some food! Anyway. Ah, how fortunate. We took the radio with us. We can probably listen to some music. They still play music out there. Don't they? Don't know. Yeah, don't know. Mary Jane isn't worried, or at least she's not saying it out loud. Nothing to report Timmy. Dolores is good. Ted's good. Look at that. They've all had their water and food, and they're all absolutely fine. Who should go outside? Timmy! You can go outside. We won't do Mary Jane. Timmy's very eccentric. I'm sure he'll come back with lots of goodies. Mary Jane's uh, fine, Timmy's off for a little trip, Dolores is fine and well, Ted's not complaining. Who can rescue us from this hellish situation? It's our government. You can badmouth them all you want, but that probably means you're either a naysayer or a commie. We're good citizens, we've been paying our taxes regularly, we're sure Uncle Sam is coming to get us. Well, except for that one time when we... never mind. The government people are coming, and we should keep our eyes and ears and eyes open for any sign of them. 
Let's keep checking that radio. Day 18. Ted's gear beard's getting a bit out of control. We made contact. The military is out there and they're coming for us. All we need to do now is wait patiently. The soldier with the boring voice was very specific about this. Help is on the way. We just need to wait for further instructions and keep our radio in working order. Water is what Mary Jane wants. Dolores would love time to eat and some water. And Ted needs some water. So you can all have water today. Actually, no. You can go another day. I'm sure you can. Hit the radio static just stop for a moment. Let's try tuning in on that signal. Go for it. Tune it in. Day 19. Oh, really? Oh, damn it. Something blew up inside the radio and the wretched thing caught fire. We were able to put it out, but it doesn't work anymore. Oh, that's... That's, that's an annoyance. Mary Jane's hungry. She's thirsty. Alright, so everyone can drink. As for food, we can wait another day. We thought it'd be a good idea to take a look. <coughs> oh, sorry about that, guys. I'm just, for some reason, my microphone just cut out on me, but then I realised I pulled the plug out. Anyway, where was I? Our patience is wearing thin. We thought it'd be a good idea to take a quick look outside to see if there's any trouble in the area. As we were about to step out, a pair of animal eyes flashed in the darkness. Um, I don't want to sh... I haven't even got any bullets. We can point at it, I suppose. <laughs> it might get scared if it realises it's a gun. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end this video here on day 20. What is the animal? Or what, who was it? Only way to find out, tune in into the next video. Till then guys, take care.